Hi guys, how are you doing? I think it's Thursday, but I'm not actually 100% sure because every day seems to roll into another. You know what I'm talking about. Right, Logan and Lachlan, we are going to cook for you one of Lachlan's favourite dishes. Logan. Muscles. So so, yeah? Muscle. You know, being twins is difficult sometimes because sometimes we like everything and then sometimes we have little arguments and we don't like everything. And this has caused a bit of an argument today. But we've come together for the sake of the nation to showcase the wonderful muscles. Mool, le mool, vive le mool. Yes? Right, come on guys, let's go. Muscles, really affordable, really delicious, really Scottish, British, whatever. But do you know what this dish makes me think of? Thinks makes me think when we go on holiday in France and we have mussels and chips. Les moules fit. Are you tired, with you? Let's get to business. Okay, so cooking mussels. Now, sometimes we're a little bit worried about the mussels. And it's true that if you get a bad mussel or bad shellfish, you can get sick. But it doesn't happen so often. And, you know, if you're using a really great quality um, fishmonger or eating in a restaurant that's very busy all the time, the produce should be turning. Honestly, most of the time you should be absolutely fine. Now, cooking mussels at home is great fun and it's a great way of, you know, coming up with a dish which can create another dish as well. So we can go into that a little bit. But before, we're going to start prepping the mussels. Now, first of all, lucky Logan, take a mussel shell, okay? Now, you're going to dip it in the water and we're going to just clean it around. Now, sometimes, like on this one, there's like a little beard there. Can you see the beard? Well, the white really hard one. Yeah, that's the barnacle. So if you really want to, we can scrape that off, but I think it's fine. Now, you see this one? When you wash them, you can them here. Yeah, when you wash them. This one's got a beard because it's been attached to the rope and it's caught like so. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the beard out because there's nothing worse than beards and muscles, okay? Now, this is the other thing, which people always see where the muscles open like that. So what we do is we just push it, and if it closes, naturally, this one hasn't. So this is a danger muscle. We don't want to use that one. So we're going to chuck that one away, okay? Wait, what do you do with that? Okay, so you see it's open there? Yeah. If we just press it, you see how it's shut? That means it's still alive. Mine's shut. That's it, so it's fine. How's yours, Logie? Yeah, that's a good one. Now, so and if there's any of the oh, beers, okay. see that one's shut as well, but this one, What's this? that's the beer. So try and pull that off with your hands, okay? Is this one good? That's good. That's good. You're doing really well, boys. Here's another one. Look. This is a good one. Yeah, oh. now, see this one here, the shell is actually broken, okay? So it's damaged. So, boom, boom. We don't want to use that one. We don't want to use that one. Okay. Oh, good looking. See, that's a beard, okay? So we really got to try and pull the beard out. Let me see that one. That bit. Try and pull that bit out there. You see the little... Yes. Yeah, no. It's good. We are doing a great job here. The thing is, you need quite a lot of muscles for one portion. So... We're just going to do the one portion just now, and we'll save those for later, and we'll have that with all the thousands, shall good. we? Now, push that one together, now, let it open again, and you see how it's shutting, like so, it's still good, it's good. So it's so important, you know, me personally, you know, I know I'm very lucky, I've got all my great fishmongers that I work with, but if you're buying, you know, like, in this period we've been in, it's, it's really hit home to me how important it is to buy the produce from good sources. And, you know, the supermarkets are doing a great job, but you, you really need to look at the freshness, you know. And if you're going to the butchers for your meat or the, the fishmongers for your fish, you can really get that high-end expertise that makes that a little, dif little bit different and gives you that confidence. So we're going to do these mussels, uh, mussels at a la marinia, which is very classic. And, and we're, going to, we're going to eat it just like that. But you could use this principle and do it with another piece of fish. And you could, you'll see that when we cook the mussels, you have this amazing cooking liquor, 
and you can make a lovely creamy sauce to serve with a piece of fish as well. So just dropping in a few ideas of what you could do. But when it comes to the twins, and especially Lachlan, if you're going to have mussels, you're going to have... Chips. Chips. Can he eat chips? So we have our own little portable fryer over there that you can pick up very, you know, they're not expensive, um, but they do make good chips, okay? And it's a little bit safer than the, the old fashioned way of putting a pan of oil on the stove, especially with these wee guys about. Okay, so we're going to crack on with the marinier. So I've got some shallots, and shallots are really quite important in this. I know and you get really strong onions. But shallots just give that extra flavour. They got that extra flavour. That'll be really good with the uh, the marinier. So we're just going to cut it in half. Oh, this one's broken. So pop that in there. Well done. Wait, how are they broken? Wait, why are you making it? Oh, here he is. Here he is. We're making mussels. Mussels. Mussels and chips, and you're not getting any chips. What time did you get up today? Yeah, we're doing mussels and chips. We're pretending that we were in Paris in a little uh, bistro just off the Champs Elysees. It's a lovely spring afternoon, and we are sitting on the terrace. Do you get my vibe, KK? No. What have you been doing? Fortnite? Mm. What are you FIFA? Mm. What? No. <laughs> okay, we're gonna slice oh, We're gonna slice the shallot, okay? So again it's about getting ready. So before we start to cook, we need to have everything ready. So we're gonna have sliced shallot, I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic, okay, and we're gonna put some parsley. Now you could spice this up, you could do exactly the same principle, but you could have some curry powder in there. Okay, so we could do the curry mussel, we could do, uh, what can we do, what we could do? We could do the mussels like, you could finish it with ginger, chili, coriander, that would be really nice, but you wouldn't really like that, would you? You wouldn't want chili in it, would you? No, too spicy. Too spicy. So we're going to do a bit of shallots, garlic, parsley, okay? But like I said, we really want to get everything ready before we start. The mise en place. Oh, it's making me cry. What? Oh, it's a shallot. It's getting emotional. It is getting a bit emotional, yeah. Being stuck in here with you every day is making me emotional. Huh? Oh, I think yeah. I've done this one. That's it. No, that one too. Oot, oot. See you later. You've done a great job there, guys. Right, let's have a little clean down. Soggy, can they call you Soggy on camera? Yeah. Yeah. Soggy. Why did you come up with the name Soggy? Come on, it's the nicest nickname you can have for a wee lad. Lucky Loggy, are we nearly ready? Yeah. Oh. Hello. <laughs> They're actually negotiating who has to be in and take it. It's like tag teams of like who's going to be on the show because obviously Casper doesn't want to be on the show. But Axel is pretty enthusiastic, right, Axe? Um, yeah. yeah, this one. <laughs> right, let's get ready. That's parsley. I have to cook the mussels now, okay? So we're going to sweat the shallots first. So we've got heavy bottom pan ready. Really important. A lid ready. Some white wine, we're going to add a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc from uh, Marlborough, New Zealand, inside, which is from Lardevin, who deliver wine for us at home and at the restaurant. So Wait, pause. This one's broken. That's broken. Pop it over there, wee man. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to start to cook the shallots. And then we're going to add the garlic, then we're going to add the mussels, and it's going to be really hot. Then we're going to add the white wine, we're going to put the lid on. Then, Axel. On the left wing today, when I say go, you're going to drop the chips. Now remember, it's very, very hot. Be careful. Okay, so I've got okay. a pot which is big enough that's going to hold all the mussels. And we've got a lid ready. We've got a sieve here with a pot underneath for the mussels once they're cooked, because they do cook quite fast, okay? And we've got our shallots, garlic and parsley ready to go. Right, now, 
Lucky, a little bit of oil, okay? Brilliant, well done. Okay, so put that to the side. Okay, now Logan, if you come here, we man, you're gonna shovel these shallots in there, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, so just push them in. Brilliant, Logan. Brilliant, well done, right. So let's cook these first to release all the flavor. Now, because we're using mussels, we're not actually going to put any salt here, which is really unusual for me, okay? Because the mussels have the natural taste of the sea anyway, and the cooking like it will be salty, okay? So we're gonna sweat the shallots without coloration, nice and gently for about two minutes, okay? Which is, Blackie's doing a great job. Well done. Okay. You're gonna pop the garlic in. Now, if you were using your, um, doing something different here, maybe with ginger and chili and coriander, these are the moments now you could be adding the ginger or the coriander. Okay. Brilliant, Lucky. Hello. <laughs> right, Axel, yeah. drop the chips. Careful, chips. careful, Axel, because it will come up a little bit. Give it a shake. Now we're going to throw in the mussels, okay? And just put the lid on straight away to create all that steam. Oh, just... oh look at all the steam. And now you can see the mussels are starting to pop open. Okay? Smell like the sea. Smell like the sea, bro. A little bit patient because we want all the mussels to spring open so that they're ready and we know they're cooked. Okay, we're nearly ready. They look delicious. Just as they're nearly ready, just when we're about to take them out, we're going to throw the herbs in, okay, at the last minute. Mm. Whoa, they all look like Give it a little shake, and sometimes when they shake, they hit each other, and then that just makes the shells spring open, okay? Can I try one even though it's not working? In a minute, patience. How, right. how does it make the time? Okay, logs. Yeah, it's making a fire, there's so much over right, here. Logan, can you throw these herbs in, please? Can I hold that there? Use that one. Oh, it smells so nice. It does smell nice, doesn't it? Lip, good work, logs. Now, okay. No, patience. Oh, oh. There's one there that doesn't have anything in it. Okay. There's one there that doesn't have anything in it. Yeah, it's falling out. Right, let's turn the gas off. Wait, maybe that's the one that fell out. And we're going to put... Oh, look at that. Yeah, you dropped one. Can I taste this? Pause. Oh. 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 Try and taste. Can I try one? Yeah, come on. Let's try them over here. Come on. Oh, can you smell it? Yes, wait. Can you smell it? Yeah. Don't try it until I'm back. Right, chips. Wait, who's that? Into a little dish with a paper. Now can I a wee bit of salt. Just a wee bit. Okay. And we're going to serve that. Now, now. Yeah, just a minute. Right, mussels. Two options here, right? I drained off the stock there because the stock is so beautiful. You could have it with the mussels, and that's really what I would do. But guys, you could also keep that stock and you could reduce it, add a little bit of cream, let it thicken, a little knob of butter, and then you could serve the mussels in it, and you could serve it with another piece of fish. That would be so tasty. Okay, one minute. Now, we've got the chips. Right, so if we we're serving this, I would have a bowl of mussels, and I would have the chips, like so. And what we're gonna do, and we eat it. Now, for everyone watching at home, I bet they don't know the famous muscle, muscle trick of how to eat mussels. Yeah, you just split it off, put it on one and then Oh, no, you've forgotten. So first of all, you put your empties in there. Now, you take the empty shell. No, what do you do? Yeah, and get another one and then pick it out. So you use this, so you don't need knife and fork. So you use the empty shell and you use that as your knife and fork and you use that. To eat the mussels. Mm. That is so good. 
Mm -hmm. That is so good. We are in Paris. It's a spring day. Mm, nice glass of wine. Knife and fork. Perfecto. Mm? Oh, natural. Also very good for pinching, naughty boy. Then you could keep the shells and you could do some arts and crafts with mommy. Mm? That'd be a good idea. The so chips guys, are good. The chips are good. Mm -hmm. What about the mussels? Mark the light. They're all right. The muscles are better. The muscles are better. The muscles are epic. It's such an easy dish to do. It's so affordable. It's so tasty. Now remember, you can keep the stock and you can make a lovely sauce out of that. You could make a mussel soup. Look it up online. You could turn it into a creamy sauce. You could do you could do so many things with it. It's really tasty. Or you could just eat it, like spoon it up, dip your bread in it with like this, dip your chips in. Everyone's happy. Les moules frites. Bye-bye, everyone.